Hey guys, it's your girl. <laughs> and in this video, we are talking locks. I think it's quite apparent that I have locks. I am a locked princess. I will firstly give you a little backstory on my locks. Nobody asked, but I just felt like I needed to because my locks are very important to me. I feel like they're part of my identity at this point. And then the second half of the video, I will be showing you the different hairstyles that I do on my locks when they're in this bob length. I will be filming this video over a long period of time just because I'm not gonna be one of those YouTubers who sits down and does a million different hairstyles in one sitting. I have a very sensitive head and I will get a migraine if I keep playing with my scalp. I'm not quite sure how long this video will take to film. However, whenever I do a new style, I will just record for you guys. So you might see this video in a couple months. So yeah. While filming this video, I have been locked for a year and eight months. So a little backstory about my locks. I locked my hair a few months after turning 20 on July 2nd, 2022. Why did I lock my hair? There are three reasons as to why I locked my hair. Number one, I had just turned 20 and when you turn 20, there's this weird shift where you don't identify as your teenage self, but you're not fully an adult and you don't really know who you are as an adult. I really just wanted to change my appearance I no longer identified with the teenage look, even the way I dressed, how I did my hair. I just outgrew that. Just wanted some change, you know? I felt that I was in a new season. That's one of the reasons why I locked my hair was for that change. Second, I was living in Jersey at the time and I noticed that a lot of people had locks in Jersey. They were beautiful. When I was out and about, I just see these beautiful locks on different people with different colors, different styles, different lengths. It was quite common where I was living and I was just fascinated and enamored by the locks. I just thought locks were beautiful. And the third reason why I locked my hair is because I was broke. Still am, a little less broke though. During that time, you know, there's inflation and I'm a full-time student working part-time. I just felt that the amount of money that I was spending getting my hair done at the salon every two months was ridiculous. And that's just getting my hair done. Let's not get started on the cost of natural hair products. I was racking up this hair bill. Who? For what? For what? For what? <laughs> So I really needed to be realistic, so I had to cut back. Locking my hair was something that was financially smart for me because all the extra money that I had left over, I was then able to invest that money into things that I felt were more important, such as makeup, acting classes, you know? <laughs> I just felt that money could be utilized in other areas of my life. Locks are quite easy to maintain. I buy my oils, I buy my hydrating sprays, and I buy my lock gel. That's it. It lasts me a long time, and I do my retwists myself once a month. And yeah, locking my hair was just financially smart and super easy to maintain. I want to say about four or five times a week, I'll spray them with a Jamaican black castor oil spray. Three times a week, I'll put oil on my scalp. And that's all that I do. That's why I love the locks so much because they're easy to maintain. However, just because they're easy to maintain doesn't mean you should neglect them. There was a point in time where I was super stressed with school. I neglected my locks and they were crunchy. <laughs> They seriously felt super hard. Your locks sound crunchy. It means they're dry. I try to hydrate my babies all the time. In my 22 years of living, locking my hair was one of the greatest decisions I've ever made for myself. And I will forever stand by my locks. With that being said, do I plan on keeping my hair locked forever? Absolutely not. 
I'm a woman who likes change. I do intend on keeping my locks for my 20s. I do have this dream where if I were to meet my husband in my 20s, in our engagement pictures, I want to have my locks, but then disappear for a few months and then pop out at the wedding with loose hair. That's my dream. Like that would be just so cool. Just like, hey guys, <laughs> but low key that's stupid. I shouldn't call it stupid. It's my dream. <sighs> Iconic. I naturally have thick curly hair. So as you can tell, my locks are quite thick. I started my locks on my own with the help of my brother who attempted to part the back of my hair. <laughs> Over time, I did combine a lot of my locks just because I felt some of them were a little bit too skinny. I would say I have about 113 locks in my hair at the moment. And I believe I started at about 140, something like that. Since I've locked my hair, I've only been to a loctician once. Truthfully, I did not love the experience. I felt that she used too much product in my hair. I just did not vibe with it. So after that, experience i just decided that i would take care of my hair that's just how i feel right now i do know that eventually i will go to a loctician and pray before obviously every six months i do a lock detox i pour hot water baking soda vinegar lemon to an inflatable sink and i soak my hair for about two hours to really detox my locks so i do that every six months your locks can accumulate buildup from the gel from your environment it's really great to detox your locks it's been five months since i detoxed my locks so next month i will be doing that and i can make a video for you guys if you guys would like that whether you like it or not i'm making the video <laughs> <laughs> if you're thinking about locking your hair, the first thing I would say when you're looking for inspiration, try to find somebody who has a similar hair texture as you. Locks differ depending on your hair texture. Even if somebody has the same hair texture as you, it doesn't mean they have the same thickness as you. I just feel that everybody's locks are unique. You shouldn't really try to compare your locks to somebody else's, nor should you assume that your locks will be identical to somebody else's locks. Locks will form to your hair texture and it'll be beautiful for you. Before I locked my hair, I did have a drastic haircut. <laughs> <sighs> tell that the front of my locks are quite short as opposed to the back I love that however the only issue is that I can't put my hair in a ponytail because the front won't fit and if you're wondering no I will never dye my locks that is pretty much my personal lock journey and now let's get into the hairstyles portion of the video. Obviously, this is the first hairstyle that I wear my locks in. This is just my locks when they're freshly retwisted. I just wear them down. I love this because on the first day of your retwist, you can truly see new growth because they're super long. For me, as the days go by, my locks shrink and shrink and shrink. This is pretty much how I wear my locks 90% of the time, if I'm being honest. I just think they're so beautiful and I love to shake them. I just wanted to show you guys really quickly one of the styles that I often wear my hair in. And this is just in two pigtails. I think it's so cute and it's giving a very youthful look. But I love this style. <laughs> I just got back from my run and I thought I'd show you this hairstyle. Honestly, I recently just started doing this hairstyle because my hair is kind of long enough. But you can tell that the front still isn't long enough to fit in this hairstyle. It's just another variation of the two pigtails, but it's much lower. I really like this. This is really easy. Yeah, this is her. She's cute. So I just wanted to show you guys, this is another style that I often do on my locks. 
I'm in a parking lot right now. But yeah, these are just two strand twists. They're super cute. They're super nice. They're very practical. I feel like when I put my hair in these twists, my retwists last longer. So yeah, I really like them. They're cute. And yeah, I wear them like this for a while and then I actually remove them and then my locks are curly so I'm really excited so it's kind of like two styles in one you go from the two strand twists to the curly locks love that right so yeah this is it she's cute hey guys so I'm back in the car wanted to show you this style so this is how I wear my locks when I take them out of the two strand twists they're so gorgeous like this. I just love, love, love. I love wearing them like that. I feel like the curl just, you know, adds a little something to it. But yeah, this is just the way they look when they're curly. Yeah. <laughs> and this is the last hairstyle that I often do with my locks. I don't know what you would call this. Some of my friends call this the pineapple look, but I just throw my hair up in a ponytail and then I put on a scarf and yeah, sometimes I'll do my edges and I think it's super cute. It's very flattering and sometimes you just want the locks out of your face and it's super cute. I find this look super girly. Yeah. And that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video about my locks. I had so much fun making it and hopefully somebody will come across this video and be inspired to lock their hair. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.